Hello guys, this is First and Keys. This will be my seventh episode. This episode is going to be two eBay lots and a dollar books haul that I made in the last few days. Doing it a little bit different this time just to save a little bit of time. I've already opened them and I took some notes on them so that way I'll be able to share a little bit more information. Uh, it was taking too long to open the packages in. I was forgetting the reason why I bought a lot of them. Uh, so this first purchase was from Toys and Comics. Paid $34.77. That includes tax and shipping. Now this lot is simply because I missed out. I missed the uh, hype. I should have got on it. And it's pretty simple, straightforward. It is two episodes of Lois Lane, uh, started taking notes, first cameo of Kiss of Death, then I got a 7B cover, variant cover, same thing, cameo, Kiss of Death, and two issues of 8, which is the first full appearance of Kiss of Death, so that was 30, almost $35, unfortunately, to buy these five issues. I really hate paying over cover price for new comics, but I missed the boat, so I had no choice. So that was those. All right, next up, this was a dollar box haul that I made. Uh, it was a little bit hard because just a week or two ago, I went to a quarter sale, so it got me a little used to paying a quarter, so it was kind of hard going back to paying a dollar a book, but I found some pretty nice ones and I was happy with. Uh, first up, Found two issues of Spawn 234. Uh, one of the good things about this was this was this uh, run probably of about 50 to 100 issues with a low, very low print run on them. So they're not easy to find. But it also just so happens they were the origins of Spawn's costume. Uh, both were really nice condition. This one has a little bit of spine ticks here and here. This one's much nicer. But for a dollar, I thought they were pretty good. Two of those. An Aquaman number one from the 1986 series. This is debuting his new costume. Next up, got a, quite a few of these. Uh, a Marvel Legacy number one. First appearance of the Avengers 1 million BC. And I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Z-G-R-E-B. So, a couple first appearances. Next up, event A next, a first appearance of Earth Century, which is John Foster. Next up, two issues of Meet the Scrolls. I've got a couple issues of number one, but I didn't have the other, I don't think I had any of the other five, so now I got two and five. And I might just look around and try to find three and four just to complete them, but not bad for a dollar. Next up. Two issues, the first and second issue of Sleepwalker. First is first appearance of Sleepwalker. Number two as the first appearance of Eight Ball. Next, as always, you'll see a lot in my videos. The first four Youngblood, they were a dollar piece, so I'm always going to pick them up. Uh, they're all loaded with first appearance, Shadowhawk, uh, Pitt. The young blood team, everybody. So four of those, the first four. I'm sure I'm up to well over 100 issues so far. I might even be closing on 150. Uh, two more issues: a Harbinger of Wars number one. This has got. I didn't even wrote. I just wrote a little note to myself. First appearance. Too many to list because when I looked it up, it was just loaded with first appearances. So two of those. This was probably my favorite find of the day. I like this comic book. I've got about five of them now. Uh, I was really surprised to find it in a dollar box. That was Ultimate X number one. First appearance of Jimmy Hudson. Uh, this is the Bone Claw variation. A lot of people list them wrong on eBay. Uh, if it has a little bit of glare on it, that's the Metal Claw. And this is the Bone Claw. I actually had a couple Metal Claws. And I only had one bone claw, so this is a 
another bone claw, which is great for a dollar. It's not an expensive book, it may be $10, 10 to 15 range, nothing important, but still, for a buck, it's a good find. Uh, another one of these, I'm up to quite a few of these now. Every time I find them, I pick them up as long as they're five bucks or less, and I found this one for a dollar. X Factor, the Layla Miller, it's a one shot. It has the first appearance of Ruby Summers. I think that's a good buy, if y'all see them. Major X Zero, I actually got the first three or four Major X, uh, but for some reason I missed over zero, so it was nice to find a Major X Zero. I believe this is the A cover, which is what I prefer anyways. Uh, first appearance of Team X Command. So, uh, Superboy, new, the new 52 Super Bowl, Superboy number one. Uh, again, I just wrote a little note. It's a bunch of first appearances, but it's a quite a few of them. So I didn't write them all down, but it just helps me know in the future of why I picked up and why I held on to it. That's a few dollar comic book, probably five, maybe five bucks, maybe ten bucks. The Adventures of Superman 509, uh, first appearance of Massacre. Don't know nothing about the character, but it's a first appearance, and it's in really nice condition. Next up is two issues of Adventures of Superman 501, the two different cover variants. Uh, first appearance of Connor, Clint, Connor Kent, which is Superboy. Not much, $2 comic books, maybe $3 comic books. So nothing special, but they were a buck a piece, so I grabbed them. Next. Final fa uh, Fantastic Four, 498. First appearance of the Hazara 3. Don't know nothing about their characters, but first appearance, and it was a dollar. This was a pretty nice one, also. I was, this was probably at a, after the Ultimate X number one and after the Layla Miller X Factor. This was probably my third favorite book. Uh, this was just a, one of those free books. It was the. First preview of Captain Marvel, The Avenging Spider-Man number nine. So it's kind of her first appearance, preview, first preview appearance, I guess you'd call it. Maybe a $10 book, but pretty nice. I had, surprisingly, I didn't have any of these. I have Avenging Spider-Man number nine, but I didn't have this, so this would be nice to add to the collection for a dollar. A uh, couple of X, Uncanny X-Men, 318s. Uh, first appearance of Generation X. I like everything Generation X. I got a lot of issues. Uh, so this is a nice... I already had one or two of these, so it's nice to have two more. Next up. Uncanny X-Men 317. First appearance of Blink and Skin. Next up is 316. This is the first appearance of a fake Monet St. Clair, St. Croix. Uh, don't understand the first appearance there's a there was a I guess, I guess it's similar to a domino scenario a lot of fake ones first appearances and stuff like that but it's just another version of a fake appearance again probably just a dollar book but that's all right uh uncanny x-men 312 first appearance of felon x i don't know if it's the first appearance or first cameo Uncanny X Men. They had obviously they had a nice Uncanny X Men. Got a, quite a few in the three early three hundred. Uh, okay, no, this is the first full cameo Fallon X, and that's three eleven. And this is just the first cameo. So I got the first cameo, first full cameo, and then first appearance. And that's Uncanny X Men three oh five. Next up. X-Men, this was the 1992 series, I think 92, 93 series, 91 series, uh, 25, with the green hollow foil. Uh, they have different color ones. I think the green's the most common. But still, uh, this was an issue where Magneto rips the adamantium from Wolverine's body. Next, got a couple of these. It was nice to find another one. And X-Men, the Alpha, which is the better of the two. Uh, First appearance of Dark Beast and Holocaust. And last, uh, this was the first appearance of Maverick and the second appearance of Omega Red, which is probably more important. Uh, Omega Red's becoming a pretty large character. 
really nice condition, and that's X Men nineteen X Men five. Same series as this one, so yeah, it must have been ninety one. Was this X Men series? All right, so that was my dollar haul from my LCS, and then last is another eBay order. This one was Holiday Comics, paid nineteen sixty one. Hulk 234, this is the first appearance of Quasar. This is my second or maybe third issue of this. Uh, it's in fair, maybe probably good condition. It does have some pr a pretty prominent crease right there. And the crease, unfortunately, is color broke, so a pressing ain't going to help it any. Uh, but outside of that fold right there, the rest of it looks nice. Staples are in really good tack. Not a lot of spine ticks, color's good. It's not bad. Maybe even VG. Who knows? I'm no good at grading comics. But first appearance of Quasar, I think that's a good investment right now. They're not expensive. I don't know. I probably paid, I paid 20 bucks for everything. This was probably, I think I paid about 12 for this. A couple dollars shipping. And then I got two of these. This is the first appearance. Man, I used the wrong pen. They're all smeared. First appearance of Omega Sentinel. Uh, trying to get a bunch of these. This is probably only about my fourth or fifth copy. I'd like to get at least ten of these. Uh, I think it's a, it'll be a good investment as long as you can get them for a few bucks each. Alright guys, that was it. That was my two eBay lots and my dollar book haul for the week. Alright, see y'all next time.